Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how I made this animation with Grease Pencil in Blender 3D. First, delete the default cube and then Shift A to create a cube. Go to Modifier and add Subdivide Modifier to the cube and increase the subdivision to 3. Then hit Apply. Now tab into Edit Mode and change to Wireframe Mode so you can select the points behind. Now select half of the points and press EX to extrude on the x-axis. Change to Surface and select an area on top of the head and extrude out the ear and then press S to scale it down. Note you can change the point at which the scale happens around. I also scaled down the head on the y-axis and then go into sculpt mode to add more natural curves to the mesh with the smooth brush. Now onto the paper bag. I made this in another file and later exported you. You can simply hide everything in scene. Shift A to create a cube, tab into edit mode and change to select faces. Select the top face and press X to delete faces. You can also change to edge, select the top and narrow is down a little. Go to modifier and add the solidify modifier, change the thickness to 0.01 and press apply. In sculpt mode, at the top right corner, hit Remesh to 0.01 voxel size. Now with the grab tool, pull the cube into a paper bag-like shape. Note that you can change the radius and strength up here. To create a tail, shift A to create a cube, go to modifier and add the subdivide modifier, then apply it. Now tab into edit mode and switch to wireframe mode to pull the tail into shape. Select the edges and right click to subdivide. Increase the subdivision at the bottom left corner. Here, I'm pressing R to rotate and typing in the angle You can also turn on proportional editing and, and change the pivot point to individual origin and scroll up or down to change the radius. On to the pause now. In the same way, you create the head and the tail, create a sphere with a cube, hide everything else, and tab into edit mode. In edit mode, select three surfaces, then pull them out to make the shape of the paw with GY. And then go into sculpt mode with the grab tool, pull it into a more natural shape. Change the viewport, change the timeline to shader editor, select the head, shift A to create a color ramp, and change color ramp to constant. Then shift A to create a shader to RGB. Add this material to other parts of the cat. Select the bag and copy the material just made. Now shift A to create a sun so we can see the materials. Note you can change the strength of the sun at the side panel. Going back to the bag, change the color to brown and move the little knob to control the amount of shadow. 
If your shadow looked jagged, go to Render Properties and increase the cube and cascade size. To add some strokes to everything, Shift A to create a blank grease pencil object. Add the line art modifier. Put all the mesh into one collection and select that collection. Select the GP layer and the black material. Shift A to create a camera. You can move the camera to view with Control Alt Numpad 0 or go to the camera with Numpad 0. Now the black outline should appear. You can adjust the thickness of the line and the color of the material. I also put the pause into a new collection. Ignore the eyes and background for now. I'll get to it soon. And then added another line art modifier for the pause. Uh, and select a white material to create the white outline around the pause. By the way, to create a new AM material, go to Materials, click the plus sign and change the color. You can go to Data and uncheck Use Light, so the material won't be affected by the light. Going back to the modifier, under Edges, you can control where to add outlines and where to remove them. Now let's draw the details on the face. I'm starting with the eyes. Select the grease pencil and go into Draw Mode. I'm using a tablet for this part. You can control the radius and the strength at the top or turn on the pressure sensitivity. You can also change the stroke placement at the top. Mainly we'll be using Surface and 3D Cursor. For drawing on the surface, set the offset to 0 0.02. I would also recommend creating new layers for drawing different parts. This way you can easily lock or hide other layers. Also, add a new material, change the color to white, and turn on fill. If animating the grease pencil later, press N, go to Tool. Under Brush Setting, go to Post Processing to increase Simplify to get simpler geometry. This will speed up later processes. Also, since we're here, turn on Stabilize Stroke, so drawing won't be too jagged. Select the Circle tool and start drawing. If anything looks weird, you can always tab into Edit Mode and move it around like normal objects. Press Enter after letting go to finish the circle. You can also go to the layer to uncheck Use Light. With the Pen tool, I added a few more details to the face. To draw stuff not on the surface, like change Surface to 3D Cursor. You can also change the view in which the drawing will exist on. Now move the 3D cursor into place and start drawing. For the furs, again, ignore the background for now. Sorry that the clips are a little jumbled. Create another layer and lock the other ones. Change from surface to 3D cursor and place the 3D cursor on the side of the face. and then something similar can be done for the tail. For the bag, I added a new layer with a brownish material. Also decrease the strength so the patterns look more realistic. And that's pretty much it to grease pencil. 
Finally, we're on background and lighting. In Shader Editor, change from object to world. Shift A to create light path and two backgrounds. They mix them with a mixed shader. I also added a plane to get the shadow going. And then added a white and gray material to it. To get the white edge on the ears, I also thickened the tip of the ear so the light spreads more evenly. Create a new area light source and move it to the ear. You can adjust the watts at the side, and that's pretty much it to background and lighting. Now let's add rigs with the mesh we want to move. Shift A to create an amateur. Go to the viewport display and check in front to see the bones. Tab into edit mode and select the tip. Now press E to extrude out the bone and G to move them around. I also subdivided the mesh by right-clicking for better rigging later. For the grease pencil drawing, select the grease pencil, tab into edit mode, and select the furs on the tail. Press P to separate the selected. You can also remove the modifiers since we don't need them. Select the grease pencil and the tail, then shift select the amateur last, and press Ctrl P to parent with an empty group. Now go into pose mode and shift select the tail, if you are unable to do this, go to Edit and Uncheck Lock Object Mode. Now go into Weight Painting. Hold down Control to select a bone, tab into Edit Mode, and select the section you want to parent, and hit Assign. Now select another bone and select a different part of the mesh. Note that you can select a ring of points by holding down Alt-O and selecting one of the points. Now onto the grease pencil. Select the bones, then shift and select the grease pencil. Go into weight painting, hold down control and select a bone. With the brush, paint the grease pencil. Uh, sorry, I lost the rest of the footage, but pretty much just repeat this step. Now onto the ears, shift A to create an armature. Move it to the ear, tab into edit mode, and extrude out another bone. Uh, select the mesh and then the armature, press Ctrl P to parent. Now shift select the mesh and go into weight painting. Just like the tail, select a bone, tab into edit mode, and assign the section of mesh you want to parent. Now on to animating the eyes. Select the grease pencil, tab into edit mode, and hover over the eyes, press L to select. Now press P to separate this from the rest. You can go into the modifier and remove the line art. To animate the eye, we need an add-on. Go to preference, add-on, and search animal. Add this add-on, we'll be using it later. With the eyes selected, go to the top and under the object, select convert to curve. Hide the eyes and select the newly made curve and then convert it again, this time to a mesh. Now go into edit mode and press F to fill. If there are a lot of points, you can press X then limit dissolve. Now when you select the points and press N to open up the sidebar, you should see animation containing the add-on. Press insert key to key in this frame in the timeline. Move to a new frame, scale the eyes down on the Z axis and add this frame as well. Note to see the animation, you have to go back to object mode. Uh, right now the eyes don't have a material, so go to the shader editor and create a new material, setting the color to white. 
for the pupil of the eye, convert it to mesh, and then animate it, just like previously done. Now on to animating the ears and tail. Select the armature and go into pose mode. Select the bone and press I to key in the frame. Now move to a new frame and press R to rotate the individual bones. Then key in that frame with I as well. For the mouth, again select the grease pencil of the mouth in edit mode and press P to separate it. Then convert it to a curve and at the side in data under the geometry and bevel, increase the depth to 0 0.005. Add a new material to it then go into edit mode to animate the mouth moving. Note that proportional editing may help here. And now putting everything together, we get this. And that's pretty much it to this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. Please leave a like and hit that subscribe button. See you next time.